to start in the Elden Ring videos with a little bit of banter because every single one of them is going to be like 90 minutes long by the time it gets to YouTube anyway. I'm not like a Ricky Gervais type that only wears... Um... Also, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to do some more exploring. I don't uh, just wear like the same clothes over and over. Um, well, like the same color. I don't own like, you know, 70 black shirts or whatever. Um... What I do own, I want to go over here, man. I want to go over here. Let's, let's start over here. Um, I own a lot of streamer merch. And almost all of the streamer merch is black. Which makes sense. It's kind of like a universal, you know, color. Or a, a hue, if you will. What is this? Some kind of telescope? I forgot. We don't want to go that way. We got murdered when we walked down there. Let's just walk, I don't know, at like a, a due north hue. Oh, no, no, no. Like, wait, 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 wait. Go back this way. Because we went into this tower, but we got bodied by somebody who had like, you know, a blood sword. We might be able to make it. This is Ross Boomsock's uh, merch. I gotta tell you. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Excuse me, you, you weird little sicko. Get out of here. I also must tell you, many people said, when I said that I had a cast iron immune system, it's so properly seasoned that all of the, uh, the germs just, uh, you know, I can't get off my horse, thank you. Um, all of the germs just uh, kind of like slide right off. They doubted me, and you were right to doubt. I woke up this morning with a, like a little congestion and a little sore throat. My daughter's been sick for a few days now. It's not... Uh, unprecedented in this uh, era of constant daycare pathogen transmission. But I've also, first off, and this is not a meme, this is reality. I PB'd on my Peloton ride this morning, so how sick could I be? Are you loot or are you just behold beautiful? Um, and then, I've also just kind of been like, I've been, like, talking shit to whatever virus it is. I know how that sounds, but, like, I've just kind of become, like, like I'm trying to win versus the virus in the marketplace of, of banter. Like, I, I've been going, like, you know, you're nothing. You're just, like, a little uh, protein capsule and, like, a little strand of RNA. Like, you're actually so pathetic. That's so sad. You know, my body vaporizes, like... Probably 50 million of you every time I put my toothbrush in my mouth or something like that. Oh, you can make it in here, huh? Like, you think you're so... What, what are you? You're just... You, you're a little... You got a tesseract and a single strand of, like, RNA inside of it. Big freaking whoop. I'm a man. I got a dick. I got a single ball. You're nothing. You're not even... Scient you're so pathetic. Scientists have not yet decided whether you're alive or dead. Do you realize how sad that is? I didn't know there was a way over here. Behold, breathing room? Hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A smithing st That's huge, man! I'm dead? I'm alive as hell. How do I get this off my screen? Oh, nice try, baby! Oh, but if that had been a bold backstab, if only I had a giant butthole. Oh, see, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, you know, trees are just like wood and leaves. And they still produce offspring sexually. You're just like a weird little freak. You're just like a weird little pseudo spider that's just like, uh, I'm gonna just shoot a bunch of RNA out here and hope that it creates more of me. You're just, well, you're a fucking troll, dude. You're so sad. You're so pathetic. Maidenless? Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're maidenless? <clears throat> yeah, so I don't really know what I'm doing, um, but that's okay. Because I know if we, if we play our cards right... You're a piece of shit. Uh, if we play our cards right, we're going to be fine. You just gotta... 
resist the temptation to be greedy, which I failed to do there. Whatever, you're done. Okay, who's next? I'll pillage your corpse for sure. Thanks for the same weapon I already got. It's like that birthday where I got two of the same pre-made Pokemon card uh, deck. And it wasn't even like a fire deck. It was, it was jungle deck. You're in trouble. I never thought I would die fighting side by side with a weird little freak like this. How about side by side with a friend? Jungle? You know, it was the one, it had like Execute on the cover or something like that. The best card in it was a Scyther. I was like, thanks for the cards, don't get me wrong. Like, it's just a nice thing to do. Uh, there's a ghost here, apparently? Oh no, they're fighting someone else, I understand now. I was like, you guys couldn't have, you couldn't have colluded and... I wasn't actually mad, I was just happy they came. I don't know why, you know, almost 20 years later, I'm pretending that I was upset that people came to my birthday party, but... Go ahead, you piece. And then take one of these! Oh! oh nice try. And then one of these. Oh, get staggered. I forgot about that one. Okay, we got Greaves. Pray for the man in the middle. One who talks like Doolittle. How much HP you got? Half? So beatable, it's actually embarrassing. You think this is the guy Chib beat last night when he talked to me and said, I beat Pumpkinhead, number one boss in Souls history? I'll take that. No, it's a different pumpkin head. Okay, good to know. What the heck is a sanctuary stone? That seems good. Yes, copium. Okay. Hooray for Peter Pumpkinhead. Great song. Dude, I gotta tell you, I, kn I know I say this about once every six months. If we're talking about the best movie soundtracks of the 90s, I mean, you gotta put some respect on some stuff like, you know, waiting to exhale. You gotta... Anything Whitney Houston was involved with, you know, the bodyguard, etc., etc. But, um... What about Dumb and Dumber, dude? It's got... Mmm, 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 mmm... By the Crash Test Dummies. It's got, uh... The Ballad of Peter Pumpkinhead, originally by XTC, as, uh, made famous in the movie by the, the Crash Test Dummies. <laughs> It has, uh, Save It For Later by the English Beat. That's a great song. I didn't even know you were here. I don't want to be here either, honestly. Can't hardly wait. I don't think I've... I, I don't know how many Rachel Lee Cook movies I've seen, but it's a low number. I honestly think I might have seen exclusively Antitrust, the Bill Gates hater movie with Ryan Philippe, uh, Tim Robbins, and Rachel Lee Cook. I think that might be the only Rachel Lee Cook film I can recall seeing. Oh, hello. I worked with her. She's a nice lady. That's good. Rachel Lee Cook confirmed, not canceled. I, I totally forgot. I've also seen Josie and the Pussycats. I don't want to get too controversial, but I would say it's probably my favorite Tara Reid movie. Between that and Alone in the Dark, I'd probably have to give it to Josie and the Pussycats. But it's close. I knew that was coming. I did enjoy Antitrust. It was a different era. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna sip. I'm gonna live. They should make a new Antitrust about Bill Gates again. Because there was like a period of like 20 years where I was like, I can't believe we all used to hate Bill Gates. Now everybody hates him again. No! Ash of War, Bloody Slash. How about that? Praise the Great Tree. So true, so true. <clears throat> Even one of my friends is, uh, I told you he's a wastewater engineer. Even that guy hates Bill Gates. 
I was like, why do you hate Bill Gates? And he's like, he keeps going on these like news broadcasts talking about how smart he is for inventing like this toilet that you don't need a septic tank. You can just poop in the toilet and it'll, it uses like, uh, you know, organisms to clean the poop. So it's not so toxic and nobody gets sick or something like that. And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. And he's like, yeah, it doesn't work. Or at least it doesn't work as well as, as he tries to claim that it does. The Dectus Medallion left. Of course. Just what I wanted. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A message? <laughs> huh? I don't, know, I don't know why we would ever go down that way, but... There it is. Do I know you? No, but that's where you are. You're there. We must hate Elon Musk. None of his ideas work either. Don't even get me started and don't even get chat started, okay? You may rec I've gone through many phases of of Elon Musk. Like everybody else in 2010, I was like, he's actually Iron Man for real. I'm so happy like we have a hero like Elon Musk on planet Earth. Then, I don't know, around like 2017 maybe, I feel like he started to become... Help me praise the message. Poor. How's that? We don't negotiate with terrorists. He started to be like um, what I would describe as very cringe on Twitter. Uh, and I remember he made a tweet, and, and it caused a big argument. Like, I got a lot of hate comments on YouTube when this happened, and I'm not joking. He made a tweet that was like, I love music, it makes my heart sing. And I was like, look, it's kind of a wholesome message, but also, this is not what I want, like, a... Uh, if like if my dad was 55 years old and he tweeted that I would be like are you alive are you okay and literally I got so many messages I didn't realize the Elon Defense Force was like out on mass they were like oh so it's uh I guess it's illegal to like music now oh I guess it's illegal to not have uh, or to have positive emotions sorry NL I didn't realize that it's not okay to have positive emotions can you just throw a firebomb at this please just did this thing right here. And I was like, damn, maybe I'm wrong. And then like a year later, all those motherfuckers hate Elon Musk. I was just not on the cutting edge, but I wasn't the last adopter. I'm gonna get you. Just gotta get the trajectory sorted. How's that? Okay, I'm not dying to a single rat, just so you know. Ooh, it's not a single rat, though. There's also this guy. What the heck? There's also... Okay, that, that guy's nothing. He's trash. I'm gonna die to a single rat. I'm gonna... I'm out of here. No, you've also got firebombs? Don't burn me. <laughs> Don't burn me. My flask! They gave me another flask. Let's go. Thank you. That was extremely clutch. Am I done with this, uh, this building here? Did I actually clear it out like a Dark Souls Pro? Yes. You cleared out the whole fort? Well, I guess this was just like, uh, so I was just chilling. Praise the rump. So true. <clears throat> you need to talk to a guy. Fortnite. So this is just a Far Cry thing? Oh, the blood slash was the loot. Ah. And the Dectus Medallion piece. I forgot. And the Dectus Medallion piece. Well, I mean, I, dude, honestly, funniest shit I ever saw. You also got a flask? I got a flask seed? Really? 
I just mash triangle. Like, I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, that's... Sorry, I think I already... I got, I got that last time we were here. So it should not be... I don't think we can reinforce, can we? No secret tier. Secret tier? Use two golden seeds? Not enough golden seeds. Okay, well... I think I already did it. Not even close to a level, but that's fine. I still feel... Oh, no, because we died in the river, right? I remember that. What if... In, we haven't explored anything up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Take me to the gate front. And then let's explore to the north-northeast. Morning, NL. How's your ball doing today? We'll go this way, I guess. Um... It's going... It's fine. Thank you for asking. At the very least, I have no... Um... Hey, wait, what the heck? Uh, I have no immediate concerns with it. A lump of flesh. How's your rump doing? Um... Well, as always, like, I'm just wary of blood loss. Not today, motherfucker. I don't know why I, like, care that you know this. Because I really, excuse me, that's an important seed for me. Is it not? No, we probably already got it then. Um... Because I really don't care, but... I do have two balls. One of them, I had surgery on once because I had a benign. Hey, I had a benign smithing stone. Um, yo, it's actually Stanley Ipkiss from the mask, man. What the hell? I had a benign. Uh, you could call it a cyst, I guess, but it's, it's called a uh, a hydra seal. It's essentially a fluid-filled sack. Doesn't cause any any concerns, but like some discomfort from sheer prodigiousness. Oh, thank you. Must be painful. I, I would I would describe it at worst. It was kind of like, hello. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Um, it was kind of mildly uncomfortable. I had that too. There's got to be some people in chat that had, like, it's probably got, like, a, like, a 1% to 2% incidence rate amongst young men. I knew another, uh, a, a guy I went to university with. You see this? He's like, I see you. I'm a fool. Um, and people were like, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. People were like, you're never going to believe this. But I'm going to change his name to protect the innocent. People were like, he has to go in for ball surgery because he has one enormous ball. And I was like, oh, does he have a Hydra seal? And they're like, yeah, how'd you know? And I was like, me too, motherfucker. Whoa! I, I didn't do anything to you. My quarrel was not with you. It was not mouth. First time. <laughs> I had one as a kid. I've said it before, but like, you can kill that guy on a horse for sure, for sure. The the worst part of the Hydra seal, holy shit, um, was definitely the surgery and the recovery. Like that was unpleasant. I think is a fair way to describe it. But the spiritually, the worst part. By the way, dog, I'll give that a, a yes. You still chasing me? No, you're trapped. In that case, templates. Likely, call this uh, an enemy, perhaps. Likely dog.
That's gonna do numbers, man. Oh, yeah. dude, that would be a, an actual viral tweet. If you made a tweet that said, um, you know the one that's like, oh yeah, this is doing numbers? And it's a tweet with like three likes. If you made one that said, secret path ahead, instead of the tweet, and then it had like three appraisals, and then the dude was like, oh yeah, this is doing numbers. That would get you like, Probably 5,000 to 10,000 likes on Twitter is my guess. Not here. Ahead. Be wary of giant. I got an idea, man. Anyway. Um, what I was going to say is uh, the, the worst part... For sure, was having to tell my mom that I had um, an insanely large testicle. I was basically, and like it's a tender moment, don't get me wrong, but like I was basically in tears. Because it's not just like, I mean, at the time, I didn't know it was a Hydra seal, right? I just assumed that, like, I was gonna die. So I was like, hey mom, you know, I was in the shower today and I noticed uh, one of my balls was the size of like a lemon. And she was like, oh, let's go to the like after hours clinic. And I was like, basically like I just had to tell my mom I'm gonna die and it's gonna break her heart. And then we went to the after hours clinic and the doctor was like, oh yeah, I've seen this before. It's probably a Hydra seal. Um, and then he just, I'm, I swear to God, he took out a flashlight, shined it through uh, the right part of my scrotum, and was like, yep, looks like a Hydra seal. Like, it was, he was making shadow puppets. <clears throat> Holy shit. No! Good item up there? We can do this. We can do this. Do you see that? You see that pyramid over there? You can climb it. Stop with this ridiculous narration. What are you? What are you talking about? Why are you talking like a like a Dark Souls NPC? Cease with this ridiculous narration. Cease your prattling. Good. Good. Stop walking. Is this really the only way to get up here? Like, I, I, I did see that there was a chest. You could probably just drop down there, huh? Jump on the left side, lower wall. Yeah, lower wall, higher stakes, though. There's a loser's way to get here. <laughs> this is not why I play this game, but I gotta try. Right platform, left wall. Motherfucker. I did it the same way, it took me a while. Can always just leave a beacon here. The problem is getting this horse to do a 180 without falling over. Like, it's kind of a... It's a bit narrow up here. Carries too much damn momentum, man. Dismount! That's the wrong button. Uh, I'm out of here. Honestly, I just don't care. Whatever. It's probably... I open the chest. It's gonna be like, uh... Who cares, basically, is the answer. Hello, it's the Giants. Um, I'm leaving. I'm not fighting multiple Giants here. You, you must have lost your mind. The world of Giants. Ooh, excuse me. A golden seed? A go I must plunge my sword into the heart of the Maiden. That's the only thing I could imagine there. 
Oh no, there's an RPG up here. That's Knights of the Round. Knights of the Round is in there. Whoa. Easy there, Mr. Tornado. I love the critical hit sound. You, th you thought you were slick getting away. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? You gotta play by sound? Help. This has gotta be a dungeon. Try giant butthole. So true. I'm glad someone's saying it. Hey, a statue. You see, this tree's going wild, man. Holy cow. Examine. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. I've seen one of these before. There's there's one of these at uh, in Limgrave. Me when my son tells me about his giant ball. Hey, that was like a that. Can you hear me? What the hell? Me. That took a lot of courage, man. I'm gonna live. For sure. What the hell? Hello? Can you? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. You're a pot. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Okay. Um, help him out. Thanks. A thousand. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well fed. Give it your all, I You really said smack me from the rear with something nice and hard? Help me ahead. Likely lovable sort. I disparage your message. Didn't expect friend. I disparage your message. First off, fingers... I'm going to give you a light positive, but I'm going to dominate this marketplace of ideas. Okay. If only I had... One second. One second. Where's Be Wary? Be wary of taking on all at once. Oh yeah, this is doing numbers. Don't stop now, friend. <laughs> just keep clobbering away. Whoa! Okay. Those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Triumphant delight. Great dragonfly head. What the heck? Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as it's excuse me, my appreciation. Exalted flesh, thank you. Once again, pleasure is I am the warrior I jar. Journey I east journey east to the east. Lands, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later. Alright, you're headed eastwards. That's fine. I'm uh I don't know where I'm going, man. I haven't seen any of this stuff. I'm just like a guy. For the most part. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know what? If I could live, 
I, I would... I, pumpkins don't scare me. Ooh, a dung beetle, which will give me three flasks. Alexander's the final boss. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't pull a Dark Souls 2 on you again. And have your most trusted companion become your worst enemy. Just like Tommy in the Power Rangers when he gets seduced by Rita Repulsa. Thank you for the flasks. What are you even doing, man? Wait a minute, I've been to the, Isn't this the bridge that we can't cross? He's... Be wary of Frenzy. You're horrendous. You're actually, like... Probably the easiest boss I've ever seen. Another sanctuary stone. Let me guess. Head. No beautiful ahead. You know what? Body shaming. I disparage your message. Weak foe. You know what? So fucking true. Based. First off, well done. Poor. I didn't, I didn't kill that pumpkin head to fish for compliments. Didn't expect victory. That's pretty true. Another smithing stone. Oh yeah, there is a grace statue behind me. Thank you, thank you. Hey, the ultimate backseating in this game is telling me when I missed a bonfire three steps away. I very much appreciate it. Did you do Margit? Who's gonna tell them? Two times. Two times I beat Margit. With, honestly... Mental that probably would have destroyed some other streamer's playthroughs. They probably would have said, Lost save data due to Elden Ring not closing properly. I'm never playing ever again. Not me. Not me. I said, you know what? Thank you, Miyazaki, for a second chance at perfection. Another smithing stone? It's the greatest farming spot in the game? How many tries for the second kill? It was probably like... I don't know, maybe like 15 to 25 tries? It, was, it, it still took us a bit. 45 minutes or so? It was touchy. It wasn't easy. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. And then you, like, you go down, but then you come back. Yeah, 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 I remember. Shadows die twice. So true. Imagine coming back from the dead to be a dex user. Like, you came back from the dead to fire a crossbow bolt once. That's so sad. At least this guy came back with a sword and a shield. Hey, what about you, though? What the heck is that? It's a skull. It's just a skull. Whoa! Okay, it's kind of not that strong. Sorry, I was being overwhelmed by, by mucus for a moment there. Owned. I'll square up with a skull. I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I watched last night? I Over the course of two days, and I've seen it before, I watched um, Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. What a movie. Hello. Hello. Is? My warning. The village here has been touched by death. No, no kidding. And worse yet, it is home to a Ah, okay. If you value your life, then go no further. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm merely trying to talk, not gesture. The village here has turned back. 
I've heard of this guy. He's like, hey, don't come here. There's a boss. And then you go there anyway. Kill him? I mean, he does have some sick drip. I believe that might be the boss. But I think we'll be able to get it naturally. Ambiently. Hello, Simvicta. Hello. How are you? Are you still playing Elden Ring? I know you were there on, uh, on launch day. It's a... And I'm not dissuading you, but it's a gargantuan task. I didn't even realize. I thought it would be like six to eight hours long. I am not. That is... That's fair enough. Hello. Tibia Mariner. Didn't you play the ancient one in uh, Doctor Strange? <clears throat> okay, you've summoned some creatures, I'm sure. That doesn't frighten me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa! Dude, it's a it's a high action thrill ride. It's it's like being at a Disney park. Might as well. Hey, here's my impression of Mouth during Conan Chop Chop yesterday. Oh, see ya? What are you doing? What are you doing with those purples? Nothing. That's what you're doing. Nothing at all. You think I never fought a Tibia Mariner before? <clears throat> It's kind of sick. I love his chair, man. Can I take your chair? Oh, you piece. Don't do that. What was that boss from Dark Souls 3 called? Crystal Sage, piece of crap. Hello. Whatever, I'll farm. I'll farm. Any boats or just me? Ah, the music, man. Hello. You know what this is? This is actually the Jaws ride from Universal Studios. Where the fire gets so hot, you can actually feel it. Even though you're supposed to be safe, you're like, I don't know how safe this is. These are just like controlled explosions. Like, has anybody ever died on that ride? I believe I've told you this before, but... The only time I've ever been to Universal Studios was in Japan. So the, the whole premise of the Jaws ride... Is that you have, like, a guide on your boat... Who's talking about, you know, like... Forget the name of the town. You know, it's like Amity Beach or something like that. He's talking about, like, the... Hey, there's been some, like, reports of a shark, uh in the village, so be careful, everybody. Uh, but I didn't speak Japanese, so it was largely just like 20 minutes of pure confusion and occasionally terror when things exploded in front of me. I'll be leaving now. It was still kind of sick, I'm not gonna deny it. Harry Potter ride is sick. It's very technically cool. It, it caused me some motion sickness issues, but... When I got off the ride at that uh, the Harry Potter ride at Universal Studios, they uh, and they always do, but they route you through like a gift shop, and I just remember like I was a little bit nauseous, but there was an older Japanese man who was just like barely hanging on, and then he staggered and like fell over into uh, into a shelf, and all the staff just rushed over and were like, you know, oh my God, are you okay? Excuse me? Thank you. Hello? Any boats in the vicinity? So I'm starting to think that maybe we should have done this before we fought Margit. <laughs> Just based on uh, relative ease. I 
I'm, I shouldn't be just fighting these guys, I'm sure, but let's go back. This guy's harder than Margit in second phase. Yeah, I bet. Watch this. See how hard he is when I square up? Okay, so it actually does do damage. That was just... I was just trying to look for curiosity's sake there. Okay, I'll be leaving now. It wouldn't be Souls games, or a, a Souls game, I, I should say, if there wasn't, like, a spawning boss who kills his own minions. Like, that's classic Souls right there. You've received a death root. Okay. And the skeletal militiaman ashes. This game must have been a fucking nightmare to localize, man. I can't even imagine. Stop down. What, how do you say? I, look, I grew up saying skeletal. And then I think, just like detritus, detritus, I picked up, like, uh, skeletal at some point, And everybody started making fun of me. Hello. Eminem a little way. But then also, I'm starting to doubt my ability to speak English. Because we got this, like, um... These edutainment DVDs. Or Blu-rays, I guess, for our, uh, for our daughter. And... They pronounce almost everything the same way I pronounce it, but then for what I would say is chimpanzee, they say chimpanzee. And then another voice comes in and goes, chimpanzee. And I'm like, that's not... I've never heard it said like that, but they're like tricking me because they have so many voice actors and actresses all saying the same thing. That I'm like, am I saying it wrong? I thought it was chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. You are correct. Say it again. I don't get that too much. I'll take it. Have I rested here? Was this where I rested before I fought this guy? The boss fight was so epic, I don't even remember. Ooh, one level. Mm, probably gonna put that into strength, I think. Hold on, don't... We, at 30 strength, can't we wield something? I thought we could wield... 31?! You piece of crap. The hammer, or the, the halberd, we got a long way to go, I think. My message was appraised. You'd love to see it. Oh, I, I need more dex and faith, perhaps. You could two-hand the hammer. Okay, well, you know what? Why don't we give it a shot? Try two-handing. Rest, treat this as if it's a save point. And you know, I think that's a valid point. Why don't we, we should pretty much like always be crunching these, man. That's my soul's hypothesis. It's comically large. I gotta say, I don't think that other strength users want you to know this. Whoops. But using an incredibly large hammer that one-shots basic enemies is actually its own form of resin. It requires a little bit less finesse. You're on heavy load now, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. By the way, medium load. Okay. Saved. That being said, it is fun. Hello, D, are you back here? 
I purged the village or whatever. We're all good now. Everything's okay. All right, I killed this. Then I came down here and I was like, who's this guy? Drippy's at the lake now. Drippy, drippy, drippy. Use your horse? Mm, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Hello. Another fool who won't what? I killed the dude that you were so scared of. That sounds good to me. To haunt more of those who live in death. The strength of beasts or the the decks of nerds. The beast clergyman. Okay. I have a matter of my own to attend to. And the beast Oh, you got an appointment? You got an an appointment in Limgrave? You got to renew your car insurance or something? Show me your map. Show me your moves. A boss? It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. A red mark was made on the map. So true, there it is. The sending gate, that's so perfect. I spotted an ill omen someone or something must. Okay, sure, whatever. Alright, so I'm not gonna do that like right away. But I will go wee wee. Now, I gotta feel like a hammer on horseback. That's gonna serve us well. Like, this is a scary thought. You do not want to run up against this. Hello. No, you're okay. You're, my quarrel is not with you. I have maintained a tit-for-tat relationship with the fauna of the game. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I'm telling... Look, I know it's not likely we're gonna catch up with Apollo I'm just saying there's a chance if we really send it we're already at the base of the Erd tree to begin with invaded by Anastasia the tarnished eater I would like to touch grace real quick if you don't mind Okay, okay. You want a slice? Why don't you take the whole damn thing? Why don't you take the whole damn thing? Oh, why don't you take the whole damn thing? Okay, that was a nice hit. That was a nice hit. You know what? One good turn deserves another. Take a little yop real quick. Your wild strikes in me? You wild strikes me? All right, that's my bad. I should have rested. What is she's wielding an umbrella? Is this Mary Poppins? At least I get to come back, like, right here. The smoldering church. Another cookbook. Another cookbook. I would like to be invaded again. Come on, give me a second chance. Coward. Maybe, maybe only at nighttime does she engage in such tomfoolery. Oh, it's horseless. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? Okay, I gotta take out this dog first. You're so much stronger than your friends. <laughs> Here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Not today, motherfucker. Today, motherfucker. I'm sipping. This is Dark Souls 1 PvP right here. She can one-tap me, so I gotta be mighty careful. Get caught, get caught. Yep. <laughs> How'd you think that's an umbrella? Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait till- Look, doesn't it look like an umbrella? It's got like a curved handle and everything.
Oh, look, the guy who told me to touch Grace on Twitter is now somewhere else on the map. I told you to touch Grace not because your advice was bad, but because you gave it unsolicited in the first place. That is the mark of a true graceless. Someone who needs to touch Grace. And at, at no point in my uh, experience on planet Earth did I go, that's bad advice. Instead, I was just like, you know what? If I was like, I'm not having any fun. I hate this game. And people were like, here's how you have fun with it. Alrighty, I thought that would stagger you. <laughs> then, that would be like a really good time to be like, hey, why don't you check out this corner of your map? Instead, I'm like, I make a tweet that's like, good stream, everybody. And then people just pop in and they're like, just so you know. And then they write like an essay of exactly what I'm supposed to do. And I'm like, touch grace. It's all right. You don't have to be like sore about it. I just wrote touch grace. It's not like an own. It's just like a, it's a parry. That's it. All right, Anastasia. I'm ready. This is not a boss, okay? You know how PvP works. You roll like three times, you land two backstabs, you win. Keep your stam high. Okay, she's wild striking. Clutch backstep. You piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa. Is there range in this game? Yeah, like, honestly, I know how this is going to come across. One of the great things about the Souls games is that you can really play them. There's almost... And look, I'm not getting into the... Uh, the argument about whether Souls should have, like, a difficulty setting, because I honestly just don't care. So, How somebody else plays these games doesn't impact me at all so you know if you're feeling like oh the game's too difficult for me to want to enjoy i wish there was some like easy mode built in i understand that philosophy but uh help help me whoa that would have been bad get owned by the way um but there's like there's and again i'm not thank you by the way thank you I'm not suggesting that there should be, or that there shouldn't be an easy mode, I should say. Um, but there is kind of like a built-in, I wouldn't, but it's not like you can pick it from the settings menu. But I saw a tweet from a, a game developer I follow today, and they were like, I've washed out of all the other Souls games because I found them like too difficult or I didn't have the time to dedicate to get as good as I would need to be. But I got Elden Ring because the hype was high. So I, I couldn't resist, and then I, like, they gave, I won't give it myself because they're spoilers, but they were like, I wandered around and, like, died to several bosses, and then I found an area where, like, I could actually farm a little bit, and then I, every time you kill this guy, you get, like, two levels, and then I leveled myself up to, like, level 50, and then I started fighting, like, the early game bosses, and I was like, you know what? That's totally fine. That's, uh, I mean, like, when I think back to my first, uh, Dark Souls experience, I mean, I was not just carrying around a giant hammer naked, right? Like, I would take out my bow, I would shoot one enemy, and then that enemy would run from the, the group of hollows over to me, and I would go, tuck, 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 and then I would kill them, and then I would take out my bow and shoot another enemy, and then, like, just repeat that over and over, so... I, I love that you can really play these, like, however you please. Like, you could do that if you wanted, for example. <clears throat> but now I'm like, for me, the most fun way to play a, a Souls game through, literal resin, um, is, is to go... Well, this seems scary. Um, sicko mode. And, and try to just roll through all the bosses' attacks. Like, that's, that's the way I prefer to give it a shot now. Let me guess. Oh, it doesn't hurt me. Okay. Well, this seems like a horrible place to be, but there is a, a tower of some sort over here, right? That's why we came here to begin with. 
There was a grace there. Okay, hold on, hold on. So true. So thank you, thank you. Nah, not really interested in fighting that crow or whatever. I'll go take a little snooze here, though. Hello. That, I don't know, 50-50 on whether we just talk to that guy. This is the good back seating. You got something for me? The nascent butterfly. Let me guess. Oh, the Erd tree. Fucking, oh, the Erd tree. Erd tree. Town of sorcery? Okay. Uh, not interested. Not yet, anyway. We'll, we'll loot this. We'll go see the tower. Be wary of right. Oh, yeah! Shack of the Rotting? This is a parallel universe, because this is the same shack where we saw Melania earlier, or whatever her name is. Lucretia? Preserving boluses? I'm, honestly? Take a look at that. I applaud you. I applaud you, good sir.